Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here, and you just have loads of background noise on your microphone and want to get rid of it? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the best, easiest way of doing that, and it's completely free. Let's get into it. Put your rock over the stone. This portion of the video is sponsored by the Tonor TC30 USB microphone. The TC30 is one of the best budget microphones on the market. It comes with its own shock mount, pop filter, and also tripod stand. It's truly plug and play with its handy USB-C to A cable, and it means that you will not need any additional drivers. It'll just be picked up by a PC straight away. I've actually been using Tonor's T20 mic arm just over a year, and it's completely compatible with the Tonor TC30. So if you fancy upgrading your microphone, use the links down below they are affiliate links and they'll go a huge way to supporting the channel so the plugin that we're going to be using is something that i've actually covered on the channel before because this is a suite of vst plugins and we're talking about replugs it's completely free to use and you've got compressors in there you've also got delay effects eqs and we've got fir as well for we're going to be using that one today so we need to get it downloaded so it's available for 32-bit and 64-bit windows so I'm going to download the 64-bit. Just a quick note is to make sure you've got OBS closed when you install this, otherwise it might not install correctly. And then once you've got the file, it'll be just a .exe. So we just need to get that downloaded and press agree to all the T's and C's. We want to probably install all of the different plugins because trust me, the EQ is so useful and there's a lot of cool effects that you can use in there. So we can just hit next again. And we want to make sure it's in this folder just here. So that's C, Program Files, VST Plugins, Replugs. It should be that by default. So you just press Install and it'll get all of that installed for you. Right, so now that's installed, we can actually jump into OBS and take a little look at removing the background audio. So I've got a microphone source just here. This is the Tono microphone that I've been using. Press OK. And we've got all the audio coming through here. If I switch to that microphone now, you'll be able to hear there's a lot of background noise. It's not good at all, but we're going to lose that. So I'm going to mute that again. And to do this, all we need to do is right click on the microphone source, go to filters, and we're going to go to the plus sign. And we're going to add a VST2 plugin just here. And we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it noise removal because that's what we're doing. We're going to remove any background noise. And I'm going to select the plugin from this drop down menu. Uh, you'll see all these different re plugins. So we've got the EQ, delay, all that jazz. If you're not seeing them, it means that re plugs have not installed correctly. Or try restarting your computer as well. So we're going to be using refer just, just, just here. And we're going to select that and press open plugin interface. So I'm going to switch over to my other microphone just here. So if I switch, you'll see when I'm talking, this EQ spectrum is constantly moving. But when I've stopped talking, you'll see it's still active. So that's all the background noise. So we want to get rid of that. So if we go to mode, on this drop down menu, go to subtract. And then once you sub It's going to mute the microphone. Uh, so you won't be able to hear it in your monitoring or anything like that. Because we need to build the noise profile for it to use. So. Once you select this little checkbox just here, you need to be silent for a good few seconds and then uncheck it. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to check it, wait a few seconds and then uncheck it. Make sure there's no other noises going on. Don't even breathe. All right. There we go. So that's created a noise profile here. You'll see this red red line. And basically what is going to happen is that noise profile is going to be reduced from your normal signal. So if I just close down um, the refer now and I've got my my filter just here, if I switch over to my other microphone and turn that off, you'll hear we've got the noise. If I go quiet, but if I press the noise removal, turn, that disappears. But you can still hear me clearly, which is insane. This tool is completely free. So that again, uncheck it. Loads of background noise, sounds quite horrible. Switch noise removal on, boom. So good, so powerful. So now that we've removed all that audio, we can actually beef up the microphone using a load of different filters, which I've done videos on before. I'll leave you the EQ one up here that'll make your microphone sound a lot, lot better. 
So you can add in more VST plugins, you can even add a compressor, everything like that. Make sure you do check out those videos because you'll make your microphone go from just being an average microphone to making it sound absolutely class. I want to say a huge thanks again to all these people just here that help me make this content full time. If you want to join Patreon or YouTube members from one pound a month, it goes a long way to supporting me. And make sure you check out this video just here because that will make your microphone sound the best it can. Put your rock over the stone.